two new template sets have just been added to Thrive Leads. They're called Typography, and in this video, we're gonna have a look at them. So now that you've seen how the templates look, let me show you how you can make them even more special. So here I am in the Thrive Leads dashboard and I've created a lead group here and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new type of opt-in form. I'm gonna choose the light box since it's one of the most popular opt-in types, but you can choose any opt-in form type you prefer. I'm gonna add a form now and give it any name you want and then edit the design. And from the template library, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna choose the first version. Later on in the video, I'm gonna show you the second version of the typography template as well. I'm gonna choose the one step version and choose it. And as you can see, this is how the template looks for the light box. And you're probably wondering why typography? Well, the thing is this here, this isn't an image, it isn't an icon, but it is actually text built in Thrive Architect. And the main benefit of this is that you can customize it and you can write whatever you want. Even more than that, you can choose any font you want for it, any color you want. Basically, you can customize it in order to fit the look and feel of your own website. And let me show you how quickly you can customize this text here, for example. So I'm going to select it. And first of all, I'm going to change the font for it. Now this is a Google font. So the cool thing is that we have lots of Google fonts that we can apply for it. And I'm going to choose a similar font, right? I'm going to choose the Mr. Defoe font. As you can see, this is how it looks and it looks good right and you can apply a variety of fonts on this opt-in form and make it look good now let's go ahead and change the text to something similar like sign up today right doesn't fit right so we're going to decrease the font size just a little bit and as you can see this is how it looks basically on the customized opt-in form and as you can see very easily you can customize the font size and the actual text basically so that it will fit your website now let me quickly show you how the other version of the typography template looks and how you can use that as well so to change it we'll click on the gear icon go to template setup and choose a different opt-in template right we're going to scroll down in the same template library and we're going to choose the typography v2 so the version 2 we're going to choose the same one step version for this example and as you can see on this template as well, this part here is just text. It isn't an image, it isn't an icon. Actually here we have two separate text elements, right? This is a heading and this is a simple text that is applied on this content box basically. So for this example, I'm not gonna change the font, right? The actual font, but I'm gonna write something different using the same font on this content box. Now, we're not gonna use this part here, right? We're gonna remove it, and we're only gonna use this text here. We're gonna decrease the font size, right? So that we can use it better, maybe not that little. And we're gonna increase the line height a little bit. and. We're going to write the text sign up today, right? So for this, we're going to use three different heading elements, right? So that we can better arrange the text. So we're going to start off with sign and then we're going to duplicate this two times, as you can see. And here we're going to write up and here 
we'll say today. And now we're going to increase the font size on this text line. And we want the up part to be exactly aligned below the sign text, right? So in order for this to happen, we need to increase it more, right? For this, we're going to decrease the line height, as you can see, to something like that. We're going to decrease the line height on this element, which says sign. And today, as you can see, we're going to increase the font size a little bit as well. So that is exactly below up. We're going to select the top part as well. As you can see, now this is not probably exactly aligned, but as you can see, very easily you can manage to write something completely different than the original text and also very easily make it look good. And basically this is how the typography templates work. Now I really hope you enjoyed this quick preview of the new set of templates. Don't forget to experiment and build something of your own using these templates. And if you have any more questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.